What's going on everyone? It's Alex here from Alex Physio. So today we're going to be differentiating between vascular and neurogenic claudication. Welcome. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Alexander Kravich. I'm a physiotherapist in Vancouver, British Columbia. And today we're going to be differentiating the pain in your legs. Is it vascular claudication or neurogenic claudication? So neurogenic claudication, also called pseudoclaudication, is basically as a result of spinal stenosis, severe spinal stenosis. This is narrowing of the main tunnel where your nerve roots run through. And when there's severe spinal canal narrowing, there is basically a decrease in the oxygen that's being delivered to your legs. And as a result, individuals who have neurogenic claudication, they tend to find that they're very limited in their walking ability and they have pain in their legs, usually above the knee, uh, described as a cramping sensation, heaviness, and in order for them to feel better, they need to sit down. And standing doesn't help uh, to try to relax their symptoms. It has to be sitting down. And the reason for that is when you sit down, there is no longer that demand for the oxygen uh, to be delivered to your legs because obviously you are working much less when you are sitting versus when you're walking. So individuals are quite limited in their walking ability. If they have neurogenic claudication, it usually affects both legs, relieved with sitting, and they get relief when they lean on a shopping cart because when you lean on a shopping cart, you're opening the tunnel or the amount of space that the nerves and the blood vessels have to uh, travel and that tends to uh, relieve your symptoms and feel better and extension so when you arch your back that tends to reproduce that bilateral leg symptoms we're looking at a constellation of different symptoms to try to determine whether the leg pain that you're having is is coming from the nerves or coming from your vascular system. With vascular claudication, this is usually as a result of something called peripheral vascular disease. And the differences between vascular and neurogenic is usually the symptoms tend to be more distal. So they tend to occur more in the calves or below the knee. Again, more of that cramping sensation. And the one of the differentiating symptoms that individuals will state is that it actually feels better when they stand still. Uh, the symptoms are reproduced when you're walking, but it feels better when you're standing still. Whereas with neurogenic claudication, individuals tend to still have their symptom reproduction when they are standing. So relief of symptoms with standing. In addition to that, individuals with vascular claudication tend to have uh, a reproduction in their symptoms when they're cycling. Whereas when people with neurogenic don't have that because of the repetitive movements of the cycling, it tends to uh, create ischemia or a decrease in the blood flow that's going in the legs and that can reproduce some of the symptoms. Individuals with vascular claudication also tend to have vascular symptoms. So things such as a decrease in their pulses in their legs, uh, cooler skin or changes in their skin color. In addition, individuals with obviously neurogenic claudication tend to have a more likely chance of back pain and individuals with vascular claudication don't really complain about back pain and the individuals with vascular claudication would tend to have a more lengthier medical history that has affected their vascular system so walking uphill tends to be more bothersome or provocative in individuals with vascular claudication and it's not really affected uh, with neurogenic claudication. At least it's not worse walking uphill versus just regular walk. Why am I sharing this information? It's important to try to differentiate a neurogenic cause versus a vascular cause in order to determine where we need to perform further workup to try to help with an individual's symptoms. Um, because obviously a vascular claudication, so people who have pain in their legs with walking, that's from a vascular reason versus a neurogenic reason will be treated differently. So there you have it. We went over some of the symptoms, the, the differences in the symptoms with somebody who has vascular claudication versus neurogenic. Do you have pain in your legs with walking? And uh, have you ever been told that you have one or the other? Let me know down in the comments below what your experience has been and what are some things that have helped with your symptoms and what have you tried? 
Uh, if you find value in my videos, please consider checking out some of my other videos. I have over 500 videos on various physio, exercise, and medical related topics. And if you still find value, please consider subscribing to my channel. It really allows my channel to grow and allows me to reach a wider audience. Until then, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.